What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be talking about a brand new Switch revision that is going to be coming most likely very shortly. Yesterday, there was a little bit of an oopsie on the internet. When I mean an oopsie, I mean Amazon of Mexico actually listed the brand new Nintendo Switch Pro ahead of its announcement. Helps if I have it on screen. To that of my knowledge, just sort of a random user on Twitter actually posted a screenshot that they managed to grab, and this was only up for moments. It's basically a placeholder page. It's not unlike Amazon to list things before they actually go live. However, the page needs to actually be made public. We can see that it says new Nintendo Switch Pro, and it's going to be sold by Nintendo. That's how we know that it actually comes from the Nintendo store, and this is a real leak, assuming that this image is not doctored or photoshopped at all. Now, I know what you're wondering in your head is like, what does this actually have to do with me? Well, it seems as though there's sort of two polarized options in regard to what's going on for this new Nintendo Switch model. It being the new Nintendo Switch or the Nintendo Switch Pro versus a revision of the current model. And this is where, I mean, I've looked at many, many articles over the last 20 or so hours and it seems like there's two completely different things here. One source that I want to talk about first actually quotes a Spanish website called Vandal. I don't know if I'm saying that Spanishy enough, who claims to receive information that Nintendo partners tasked with creating accessories for the Switch Pro. First of all, there's confirmation that the Switch Pro will receive a larger OLED, rumored to be measured seven inches diagonally, with smaller bezels. The size of the console is reportedly a close match to the original standard Nintendo Switch, and that detachable Joy-Con controllers are interchangeable between the two consoles. Back in March, there was a Bloomberg article that was talking about what could possibly be the screen resolution and some information in regard to the new Nintendo Switch Pro slash revision. Uh, there's so many names. Don't take the names that I'm saying as what it is going to be because, you know, the big N always likes to throw a wrench in our gears, right? Samsung said that they're going to start production of a 7-inch 720p OLED panel as early as June with an initial monthly target of just under 1 million units, said the people who asked to remain nameless. The displays are slated for shipment to assemblers around July. From what I've heard personally this is a reliable source so this seems like very likely the displays that's going to be in the new Nintendo Switch. One of the brand new pieces of information that has surfaced over the last 24 hours is that the rather flimsy plastic kickstand used on the current Switch has reportedly been axed in favor of a large flap that is more akin to what you find on the Microsoft Surface Go and Surface Pro tablets. And as a result, it should result in a more stable platform when using it in tabletop mode. I firmly agree that the kickstand on the Nintendo Switch is hot garbage. There was recently a Nintendo leaker named Nate Drake on the Reset Era forum to claim that the new Nintendo Switch will be, and I quote, like a PS4 with DLSS and more capable CPU. Again, that's just like someone posting on a forum that's, you know, a re well regarded leaker, but it's not anywhere near concrete information that's not actual hardware or anything else like that. So what I have come across as being the most generic information that actually makes a lot of sense is that the new Nintendo Switch is going to be a regular 720p screen as Samsung displays are going to be made for it. It's going to be probably the exact same size as the Switch, maybe slightly larger, because if you're reducing the bubble size, you can pretty much fit a 7-inch screen on the current Nintendo Switch without making it much bigger, if any at all. It would need to remain somewhat near the same form factor to be compatible with the Joy-Cons and still be comfortable in handheld mode, and supposedly there's changes to the dock that not only improve connectivity, but are going to improve the resolution as well. As stated right here, the Nintendo Switch Pro will support a faux 4K resolution mode, courtesy of NVIDIA DLSS, albeit only on docked mode. The dock is reportedly slightly larger than the original version, while its USB 2 ports have been upgraded to USB 3. And there's also an Ethernet port included on the dock for wired internet connections. This this is, this is sort of a weird idea to wrap our head around because 
A statement like that sounds more in the direction of a Switch Pro and not a Switch Revision because the average consumer and the average Nintendo Switch player doesn't need an Ethernet port in their dock. Albeit right now you could just go on Amazon and buy a $20 Amazon Basics USB to Ethernet plug and plug in Ethernet and it works on the Nintendo Switch natively. It's kind of awesome. The average person doesn't have Ethernet running throughout, you know, the rooms that they're going to be playing video games in. Maybe Maybe if that happens to be where your modem slash router is from your internet service provider, yeah, I can see it, but still, this is sort of a, a, a fun concept amongst the, the PC Master Race community is that we'd much rather stable frame rate than increased resolution. Stable frame rate means that you get to enjoy the game and you're going to have a very seamless experience as opposed to Breath of the Wild when you first walked into the Korok Forest and you were hitting 12 to 17 frames per second and that stutter and lag, you, you see that visually. Meanwhile, if you're playing the entire game at 1080p, well that's the entire game at 1080p as opposed to or 900p as opposed to 4k so me personally if there is any enhancement to the cpu i'd much rather a nice stable overall gaming experience of the frames per second being a stable 60 than trying to upscale it to higher resolutions and it sounds like it being docked and being able to be 4k meanwhile it's a 720p screen does make a little bit of sense and then when it's docked it's then able to draw more power and when it draws more power, it's gonna be able to, you know, run more efficiently. Take that all with a grain of salt. If you're seeing this picture go around, that's clickbait. It's, it's a random concept. Image credit is computer build. Anyone who's using this in their thumbnails, they're just going for clickbait. I mean, you know, anytime I talk about the Switch Pro, I just make the screen slightly larger on the current Nintendo Switch because honestly, that's what I think it's going to be. I don't think they're going to go that futuristic here. But then again, I was wrong on saying that uh, Legends, <laughs> Pokemon Legends Arceus look too good to be true. So, you know. They always throw some curveballs at you, don't they? Is it going to be a revision like the Switch V3 and we're going to go from the red box to maybe a different color box? I don't know. Or is it going to be an upgraded model? We don't know yet. Almost every single source is pointing to the fact that we are going to be seeing some information ahead of E3. And honestly, that's not really that uncommon. Nintendo usually likes to have their own Nintendo Direct slightly before E3, which I believe is June 14th of this year. June 12th. All right. So Saturday, June 12th is the beginning of E3, and Monday, June 14th, is the beginning of Premiere Week. Uh, then again, this year it's all digital. I haven't been keeping up with the schedule yet. You know, summer's here. And many of you may be asking price. What is this brand new Nintendo Switch gonna, gonna cost uh, us fun gamers? And that all really comes down to what the product is going to be. If it's going to be a revision, I don't see them leaving that $300 price point. And if it's going to be a pro, then they could maybe ask an additional 50 or possibly $100. Although I don't think that they're going to be doing a $400 Nintendo Switch anytime soon. I think 350 is gonna be a little bit closer to, to, to what would appeal to the mass market right now. You know what I mean? We're only a week or two away from actually getting concrete information on this. So this is more of a video to prepare you on what we're going to be experiencing within the next two or so weeks. Well, guys, I want to know what you think. Are you waiting for a Switch V3 to upgrade from your V1 or V2? Are you hoping for a Switch Pro? Do you actually use an Ethernet wired connection for your Nintendo Switch? And would an uh, Ethernet switch in your dock actually make a difference to your life at all? I doubt that last one. But you know what? I want to know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Let's keep the conversation going. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. There's no more new Pokemon Snap content, so feel free to turn notifications back on. Until next time, Austin John out.